Hi guys, Don Rice here. And here we are with the firewall again. Um, this time, I've got it, uh, it's on my bench here, obviously, and, and I've got, I don't know if you can see the balsa shim under there. So there's a shim there, uh, and there's another shim back under there. Actually, that's a magnet um, just laying on the bench. And so I've got it shimmed up so that um, right now, you can see it's not laying flat on my bench. It is shimmed up. It is shimmed so that it now has one and a quarter degree of um, up thrust and um, one and a quarter degree of left thrust. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well that's bass fucking backwards. Hang on. And so, uh, here we go. You can see the 1.3 degrees of, that's up thrust. And so, why am I doing that? Well, here's some, that's some West Systems uh, with, I think, 205 Fast Hardener, because I'm being impatient today. All right, and so, this, this area, this is where the motor actually is going to mount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a base layer of that, um, and then I'm going to put in some other layers. That's going to be layer 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, and 2 is lying over there. Anyway, I'm going to lay down some fiberglass in here, and then um, the West Systems, and, you know, and I'm going to kind of build this up so that it's high back up here in this corner, and then I'm going to put on just enough West Systems to let it self-level um, so that the glue will actually be level, which will end up giving me, you know, roughly 1.2 degrees of down thrust and 1.2 degrees of right thrust, which was that guy's idea. Later. All right, so I'm putting in uh, layer two here, and not being too worried about, you know, not using too much resin because ultimately this is going to be pretty thick. Here goes layer three. You see that's not round. Layer mm -hmm. three is not a round layer because I want it to be I'm, be... I'm building up the thickness back up here in the top. Uh, let's see, it's the top left of the firewall because uh, ultimately this will all be leaning down to give me down and right thrust. Um, which is why I have the whole setup jigged up to have up and left thrust because when this self levels it'll self level giving me the desired amount of right and down at least that's the plan if it doesn't work out well we know who to blame isn't that right Frank? I have no idea who you're talking about okay here we go But I feel sorry for him, whoever he is. Yeah. Layer three. Here goes layer four. The reason I'm putting, you know, you could just pour resin in here and and let it set up. But, um, you know, guys have done enough layups and played with uh, fiberglass enough. You know that resin is actually not particularly strong all by itself. You actually need the, the fibers. You need the weave. Um, to provide the strength to the resin. So that's why I'm putting in uh, the fiberglass cloth. I didn't actually do any math, so I don't know if my buildup is right here. But um, as you can see, you know, each layer is about a half inch shorter than the previous layer. Uh, and each layer is uh, roughly, you know, 18 thousandths thick. And I'm putting in um, seven layers times 18 is what? 76. 70 and 56 is 136 thousandths. So I think that's just rough stuff in my head. So 136 thousandths. Um, and I want to say that 1.2 degrees was about 160 thousandths. So, you know, we're in the ballpark. Okay, so pour in a goodly amount. I will press it all down into the glass cloth. Get the cloth to 
kind of absorb it all and then um, and then we'll I'll pour in some uh, I'll pour in some more here and uh, let it all kind of self level and see what see what happens all right so here I'm going to take the the rest of the rest of my resin which isn't very much I might actually need more There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a chance to kind of self-level. It, it would be good if it was a little bit more fluid. Um, I could add some... I could add some denatured alcohol to it, but it's a little late. I would have to do that before I poured it in. Um, and then there are guys out there on the web who would say, oh my god, don't do that, it'll ruin the strength and the properties of the epoxy, and, no, it won't. and you know, shut up. <laughs> no, it won't. It'll be fine. This is not a, this is not necessarily a structural member. This is basically <laughs> what I'm making here is a shim. Alright, I think I'm going to end up having to mix up some more. I can see too many um, waves and stuff from the from the different layers. So I'm gonna probably have to add I don't know maybe a sixteenth of an inch to the overall depth of of this. So we'll mix that up and be right back. Oh God. All right, so here we are. Here's here's the second batch of West epoxy. Here's denatured alcohol. So all you um, uh, uh, all you conservative, you know, dyed in the wool, you know, don't break the rules, guys. You know, close your eyes for a minute. Turn off your sound. Because here we go. I'm going to put some denatured alcohol in there. Yeah, I know. I just ruined everything, didn't I? Yeah, but we're going to make it nice and, nice and thin. Just like that. And then come back over here. There you can see some of the you can see some of the high points in here that some of the the light is reflecting off of them. So we're gonna do this. There it goes. That's it. And what's good to see is that it's actually it moved towards all the walls fairly equally. So I already know that we're um, we've got a flat level uh, surface in there, which um, you know once again just proves how amazing I am. So, um, not that there was ever any doubt of that. Am I right, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, later.